Greetings from your queen, your queen of Ooga Booga, that is. Hi, everybody. This is Sally Diane, and I hope you're having a great Labor Day weekend. Today, we're going to look at Uncle Joe Biden and see how his campaign is going for him. But, you know, before I get started, I want to share with you guys a premonition. I had some four years, well, three and a half years ago about President Trump. And that was that the question was, how is this going to end? And how I see his presidency ending is I do not see him completely completing his term. I see him leaving office before his term is done. I see Mike Pence as a non-elected president only. He will never be elected president. And I also got a vision, and I'll share the vision with you guys uh, now, and uh, you can take away what you want. The way the Trump presidency ends shows a White House at night, and I can't see the front door or the driveway because the steps are obstructed by the hedges, but there's red and blue lights flashing on the top of the building, and it's really, really quiet. All you can hear is the little motors on the, on the lights, you know, that that were click, that were click they make sometimes. And I'm not sure how much of it is metaphorical and how much of it is, is real. And I just, I can't relate to whatever happens. It's so bizarre it's never happened before because there's just this stunned silence by everybody. So the, the, pre, the Trump presidency is going to end bizarrely. The Biden presidency, I think, is going to be a lot more conventional. So this week in Uncle Joe, who will soon be the father of our country, the dad. <laughs> okay, so, and... <clears throat> The first card we get for Uncle Joe is the Queen of Pentacles, and that is definitely Kamala Harris. She, he made such a good choice with her. And when I look at her, I can see her in the, in the Oval Office. I can see her taking over the presidency. Um, he, the, then you have the Seven of Coins. And so they are talking a lot about fundraising and they're being very careful about their budget. So um, I think they're working on being twice as transparent as the Trump campaign as far as their budget goes. <clears throat> At the base of it um, is, a high, is a high priestess. But, you know, I see that as a sign of Joe Biden's faith. He is a good, solid Catholic, and the things that he's doing now and the way he's reaching out to the community is the way the Catholic Church tells him to do it. And it's, um, it's been a refreshing change to see somebody in a leadership position that has some faith to him. Coming into this, You've got the Ace of Pentacles, and that's an opportunity. Now, I see that as the Lincoln Project, because the Lincoln Project really put some currency into the Biden campaign, and they're backing him, so it's putting you know, powerful Republicans backing Biden for now, for now. So it's, it's an asset now, but I don't think they'll be an asset two years from now. Um, crowning him is the Wheel of Fortune. Things are just turning really well for him. And the Wheel of Fortune is a key 10. And I see, I see, uh, like September is going to be so-so. But when it comes to October, you're going to see the numbers break wide open for Biden. Right now, it feels more like a horse race, so it's really exciting and everything. But uh, I'm a little worried because he's going to pull ahead so fast in October, it might keep people from the polls. That's, that is a worry for him because up ahead, you've got the Eight of Swords. And that shows Biden in, you know, feeling like he might be locked into a few positions that he's not too 
too happy with. So um, when you, you look over the next couple of weeks, he might not be able to actually address the issues he wants to address or go to the cities that he wants to go to. He, he, it seems like he's hitting some roadblocks here. There are, when I look at this card, you have the Ace, Ace of Swords. And in my Ace of Swords, you've got, um, you've, you've got a, a, a dark colored figure and a light colored figure and a sword between them. But this is the, the point that talks about kind of the, the, um, the things that people are worried about. And I think that as much as, it feels like everybody's ready for a female vice president. It's 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 a double-edged sword for him, because as many people want who'd like to see a woman in, in more in power, there's an equal amount of people that are threatened by a woman in power, and uh, we like to think that's not around, but that is very much around. When I look at public opinion right now, and this is going to uh, continue all through September, the polls are going to be pretty tight. You know, 50-50 here. Um, and it's, it's just a matter of taste. It really is. You know, half the people like uh, somebody who is articulate and educated, and half the people like somebody who can get up in front of a microphone and make you scream. But the end goal, the end goal is just to plain heal the country. When he says that's why he decided to run for president, he's sincere on that. He really, really sees that the, the country is hurting and needs a, a better hand. And the final outcome, you've got the Page of Cups. So when you look at, you know, if you're going to look like, say, a couple weeks up the line, Biden is going, the Biden campaign is going to get some very good news. You know, so I think that the scales are tipped in the other guy's fat, uh, favor right now. The scales are going to tip a little bit more in Joe's favor. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll be back next week for another edition of This Week in Joe Biden. Have a great uh, Labor Day weekend. Remember to share, subscribe, tell your friends about the Queen of Ooga Booga, and tune in tomorrow night at 9 p.m. for Psychic Sundays Live with me, Sally Diane, and her producer. And uh, we'll be talking about uh, current events, telling stories, and we will be taking questions and giving free readings to viewers just like you. So remember to tune in. We'll see you again next week. Thank you.